tell you just a little bit about this piano. Um, this is a Steinway B. This is the next step Are above this piano. Out? Is a concert grand. Um, concert grands are impractical because most people that want a concert grand for their home either have to dine on it or sleep on it because they're so big. So when a, a large hall or something really doesn't have the room for a concert grand, they buy this piano. Mm -hmm. This is arguably, many experts consider this piano and this nine-way concert grand one of the, the greatest pianos in the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's amazing to, to play this to play this instrument. The thing you have to listen for when you listen to this piano is the ringing up here. Every note is absolutely clear. There's no bleed over there. You don't have one note sounding when another note is playing. So the treble clef is, is really amazing. The nice thing about a Steinway B with pianos, I'm sorry to tell you, all of you younger people, longer is better. <laughs> so you have, you, you have here a five and a half foot stretch of bass notes, of bass strings, so that when you play these bass strings, they are gonna sound much more resonant, much more full, much bigger than if it were a, a, a smaller piano. So when I play, this is what you hear. You hear this in this size room and bigger. You hear this. This is the same sound you hear when you are in Betcher concert hall and they roll out the concert grand Steinway. You hear this same sound.
you can play it was uh, La Vie en Rose about Paris. And this song is called uh, A Nightingale Sing in Berkeley Square, which is on his list. The interesting thing about this song is that it also is written in D, but many people play it in E flat, which is what I'm playing it now, because in in D it just sounds too bright. So they like it a little bit more beautiful. For me, I like I like them both because <coughs> Oh, 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 oh,
love that your car goes so well virgin Portuguese, we can't do this. So I would like to, yeah, so, hey Nikki, Sandy, Nikki and Sandy, I'm here to you. I'm sorry. Since you have everybody here, would you like to explain the history of uh, Boothico and... Uh... Oh, so this is a party that my sister and I have thrown with John and Brad, and it started on John's birthday. Actually, it was Brad's birthday. It was Brad's birthday. I'm yeah. sorry. So Sandy said that, and I thought it was John. So now, now there's going to be a part B, a part D to the story. So I thought it was John's in my memory. It was Brad's. We were all at the Brown Palace. And we went into the wee hours of the night, and they had a beautiful suite that evening. It was and suite. It, yeah, it was a Beatles suite, okay? And so at the end of the night, and we're talking like two in the morning or something like that, there was a very small group. I mean, there was like five or six of us, maybe yeah. seven of us, um, that made it through the night and up to the hotel room. And we were tired, but we were still awake. And we decided, let's order up pizza and let's get some Vouv Cluco. So champagne, sparkling wine is the best, best paired with a greasy food. So you can have champagne and fried chicken or champagne and pizza. It's delicious because the bubbles cut the grease in your mouth. So we sat and had, I mean, we went in until the sun came up. Yeah, we had the best <laughs> night ever. And had so it much fun with birthday? it. Yeah, it was Brad's birthday, actually. It was Brad's birthday. Yeah, and we decided it was so much fun. We're doing this every year. And so welcome to our booth and pizza yeah. party. Yeah. So now we can go back to on this. So I'm telling my dad, Dad, this year I want to throw the party at your house because you've got it already. I mean, and he said, that's great. And I tell him the story about the party. So tonight, my sister and I are here about noon. My dad comes down, and he's in his jeans and his t-shirt, and he sits down and starts playing. And he said to my sister, this is what, because I thought it was your birthday in my memory. So he said, this is what I'm going to play for John when he comes in. And he starts playing Happy Birthday. And Sandy goes, Dad, it's not John's birthday. <laughs> and he goes, but I thought Nikki said that this whole thing was about John's birthday. And no, and so my dad goes, well, why are we having this party if it's not John's birthday? <laughs> So somewhere over the rainbow is on here. Not many people know that this somewhere over the rainbow has a verse. It goes like this. Thank <laughs> you. 